This instructional video will demonstrate how to use visual controls by creating a non-network design for a classroom with control devices wired with CAT5 cables. The topics we will be covering include creating a room, adding luminaires, adding devices, connecting devices, and generating documentation. Let's import a DWG to begin the design. Under the File menu, select Import, then the Drawing option. Select the reference file and click Open. You can check that the scale is correct by using the Distance command to measure a known dimension in the project. From the Design tab, select the Rectangle Room command. You can name the room and set the ceiling height in the properties. Left-click to locate the first corner of the room. Then left-click to select the opposite corner. Next, we will add luminaires to the design. From the Products Manager, select a 2x4 luminaire. Change the orientation to 90 degrees. Left-click to insert a luminaire over the locations in the reference file. When you are finished, right-click to complete the placement. To begin adding controls to the design, open the product selection window by clicking on the icon at the end of the search bar. Under each brand folder, products are separated by device type. Search for the NPOT MA 2PDX and select the checkbox next to the product. In this design, we will also be using the NPOT MA 4SDX, NCM ADCX DZ, and the NWVPDT16. After checking the box for each device, click OK. The selected devices are now being loaded into the project. Once it is complete, you can find them in the Controls section of the Products Manager. Select the 4S switch. Left-click to place the switch near the first door for easy access to the device. Right-click to complete the placement. Select and left-click to place the 2P switch near the second door. Together, the switches will allow us to control the multiple scenes in the room. Right-click to complete the placement. Next, add the NCM Daylight Sensor to the design so we can control the group of luminaires near the window. Finally, select the corner mount sensor to maximize our coverage of the room. Change the orientation to 45 degrees to match the mounting angle of the corner of the room. Left-click to place, then right-click to complete the placement. Next, we need to connect the devices to show both designed intent as well as support the automatic generation of risers. From the Design tab, select the Connect command. The luminaires and devices in this design communicate with CAT5 cables. Select the option from the properties if it is not already active. Left-click on the 4S switch to begin. Next, left-click on the nearest luminaire. Continue selecting each control and luminaire in the space using a left-click. Visual Control's Intelligent Device Connection gives you more influence over wire shape. While connecting devices, left-click in the open area to change the shape of the arc before selecting the next device. Continue connecting the remaining devices.
right click to finish connecting devices. To reshape any connections, left click a wire to access its control points. Left click on the points to adjust their positions. Right click to save the changes. You can repeat as necessary. Visual Controls features an automatic connection option for devices in your design. From the Design tab, select the Auto Connect command. Select the CAT5 option from the properties if it is not already active. Turn off the necessary selection filters so we can quickly select all devices and luminaires in the design. Right click to confirm the selection. Left click on a device to designate it as the first one in the sequence. Right click to override the connection order or press enter to confirm the sequence. Visual controls can automatically generate riser diagrams for your design. Click on the Generate button next to the risers section of the Project Manager to create the riser page. Visual controls will generate design pages automatically for the designs in your project. Additional product information is available from the Details menu on the ribbon. The topics in this video and more will be covered in detail in additional videos. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.